Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to extract lithium metal from a battery. For this experiment, we're going to need batteries that utilize lithium as their anode. Look at the label of the batteries you buy to make sure it says lithium, because you can't use any other type of battery for this. Let's get started. What you want to do first is to take a battery and remove its outer label. This way, you'll be able to cut through easier with the pipe cutter. After that, I'm going to mark the middle of the battery with a sharpie. This will center our cut to make things more even as we expose the core. Soon, I'm going to use a pipe cutter to cut through the outer casing of the battery. Just as a safety reminder, gloves, protective eyewear, and protective clothing should be worn when attempting this. The battery contains acidic electrolyte, which can burn and possibly blind you. Another disclaimer I have is to warn you about the danger of tampering with the battery. When attempting this experiment, if there is a moment when the battery heats up suddenly, you've probably shorted out the battery. This shortage can result in the battery releasing excess electrolyte and possibly exploding. If this occurs, please move away from the battery and allow it to vent away from anyone. Like sodium, lithium is also an alkali metal. However, due to its high first ionization energy, it is not as reactive as the sodium. Lithium is commonly used as anodes in batteries in order to act as a reducing agent in the voltaic cell. A voltaic cell is simply a converter from chemical energy to electrical energy. As you continue cutting into the battery, you'll start to notice a sharp and unnatural smell. This smell is the electrolyte, and that indicates that you've cut deep enough. The next step is to remove the outer shell with pliers. As you'll see in a moment, I struggled a lot with separating the two parts. It's actually much harder than it looks. While I'm pulling the shell apart, you'll notice this white structure between them. This is the core of the battery. The core is wrapped in white film, which helps to keep it together. Remember, when handling the lithium foil, Always wear gloves to prevent burning yourself from corrosive lithium hydroxide. Also, the cathode of this voltaic cell can be harmful to your health. Iron disulfide has the smell of rotten eggs, and if it is inhaled in large amounts, it can eventually lead to health hazards. To prevent any harm whatsoever, I have a Ziploc bag used for disposing biohazardous materials with me. When I extract the iron disulfide film, it will be placed inside the bag so the smell cannot go into the atmosphere. Now when you actually extract the lithium, you need to work fast. Like sodium, lithium will tarnish in the air over time. The lithium foil in the battery has a much higher surface area than a chunk of sodium. This will cause the lithium to react faster with the air, and therefore tarnish faster. You should always have a container with mineral oil close by to store the metal in. Lithium is less dense than the oil so a small weight can help keep it below the surface. Even though I have my container ready, my sample tarnished very fast. Being an alkali metal, lithium reacts vigorously in large amounts with water. The products of this reaction are lithium hydroxide and diatomic hydrogen gas. Again, please remember that lithium hydroxide is corrosive and that hydrogen is extremely flammable. Please be careful when handling them. For the transfer of electrons, Lithium undergoes oxidation to lose one electron, while the hydrogen gas goes through reduction and gains one electron. This experiment can be repeated a number of times based on how many batteries you have in reserve. If you bought a pack of four, you ultimately wind up with four sheets of lithium foil. The lithium we extracted will be used for another experiment I've planned for this series, involving the visible light spectrum. When lithium compounds are heated in a flame, the flame color changes to red. Be sure to check out our other video on sodium to get a taste of a true alkali metal, and check back with us soon for a new video. Now I'm going to show you in just a moment lithium reacting in water. The reaction isn't quite as exciting as sodium, but it still shows some basic characteristics. If you attempt this, please do this outside to not build up any hydrogen gas. Just also know that lithium can be bought online, but many sources can be overpriced, so it can be cheaper just to extract it. So without further ado, enjoy.
thank you guys so much for watching. I always enjoy doing this experiment because lithium is one of my favorite elements next to sodium. And it's also a really beautiful metal. And it's just really interesting to watch it react. So check us back next week as we do another experiment. And I guess I'll see you then. And that's our lithium right there. That's our extraction. Thanks again, guys. See ya.